Chinese Taipei, Quin Yi Li. Of Ai Yong Li in charge of proceedings. But the referees haven't been too busy, which is great to see. I think that's got a lot to do with the protector. I think if you've got a good protector, the referees are not as visible. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it, when the judge has too much impact on the match, it's, you can see it both ways, but when the protectors are good, it's easier for everyone to, to understand the rules, I think. Well, speaking of understanding the rules, who will rule the rules here? The smiling Juan Diego Garcia. The man from Sinaloa has all the quality, ranked number one for a reason. Well, the Aziri. Here he comes. Now he beat Juan Diego in Sofia. Can he do the same here? And Halilov looks composed, he looks ready. The old eye of the tiger is looking straight down the barrel he's ready for this one but in terms of the quality juan diego garcia he's won everything yeah he won everything currently paralympic champ he lost only two times in four years and that's amazing to hear i i, I don't remember wh when i heard something like that for the last time but halilov won in sofia on golden point and we'll see what will happen now Halilov had amazing semi-final. We saw with guy from Turkey. He was losing like for most of the match, and in the last minute, he overcome the result and find himself in the final match. He certainly did. Halilov overcoming the odds, getting himself into the final. Can he get past? Well, as you said, Juan Diego Garcia, Paralympic, World, and Pan Am champ. A couple of wins in the Grand Prix stage as well. All set up nicely. Good show of respect from both men. The Mexican, of course, in blue. And Juan Diego leaning back, keeping his head out of the road. Good concentration from Kalilov. As both men just eye each other up. Kalilov happy. The Aziri to stand in the center. The man from Baku will be going back with a gold medal. Good fake to intimidate, trying to draw in the opponent, but Juan Diego Garcia, nice movement from the Mexican as well. The footwork, fantastic. Yeah, I love, the, I love the footwork, but as we can see, uh, it's big distance now in the moment, and they cannot score. The both of them has re really fast front leg. Mexican is trying front leg to the body, but, uh, but, but the movement is amazing. They go back and forth all the time, so we have four minutes left and still 0-0. Zero, zero. Fuerte, the call from the coach, be strong. The only word I know, Fuerte. <laughs> <laughs> like Davai, Davai, Fuerte, yeah. Jayo. It's all the yalla, yalla. <laughs> yalla, <laughs> la, exactly. We all know the call to arms, the call to fight. Adelante was the cry. Juan Diego Garcia coming forward, putting a bit of pressure on creating the gam jump possibility. Wang Lee gives it. The bo they, they both look really focused because they know each other really well, really well and you see 1-0 and they have some good tactics and good blocks in this moment. The tactical battle, the quality of the men, nice little 1-2-3 from Garcia. Yeah, really good front leg. He tried with push kick and then finished with the front leg kick and he scored. Well, he surely did score. He was kind enough to give us an interview for the Olympic Channel yesterday had a chance to catch up with him and he's obviously very charming very successful but loves taekwondo really absolutely <laughs> loves it knows every story every history who's won what when and how i love that i first time a geek i know everything <laughs> since i started competing 2018 seniors you know it's nice when you hear a, a good story a successful story so i really love this uh, to, to hear something like this Yep, a fellow geek is the man <laughs> in blue. He's got the mastery, he's got the points on the board. Kalilov 
in contention. A swing and a miss from the battler from Baku. Can he get himself back into this one? Good moment from Garcia. You can see his his uh, distance management is really good. He's focused on, on on when to attack, when to score. He's not giving his energy, you know, attacking all the time, pushing. No, he's focused on one thing that he has to do, and for now it's good. Very good indeed. Imamadiev, Kalilov, trying to come forward with a double kick of his own. Trying to fight himself back into it, but the movement, Juan Diego, the master of movement at the moment. And you know what I love about Juan Diego Garcia? The, the fake, it's, yeah. a, it's a real one. It's not just like a let's waste some time. Of every course, time he's every causing time, Yeah, we can see Khalilov j just going back in that moment. He think uh, Juan Diego will attack, but the moment is, is really good. The movement for the man of the moment, Juan Diego Garcia. Not an unassailable lead though, only four points. Still time. Kalilov wanted to change stance, walks in there, Garcia waiting for him. Absolutely, he made a mistake in that moment and Juan Diego used that to, to score once again. And I was enjoying it so much I didn't realise that they hadn't called a break there. Yeah, yeah, I saw four minutes without a break. But it, uh, we didn't see so many actions but we saw both of the fighters were re really focused and especially Juan Diego with movement all the time. It's not easy for four minutes just to do steps and the movement and just uh, look at your opponent and go back and forward. Yeah, certainly going back and forward in his mind now is Kalilov. What can he change? What can he do? Because Juan Diego, he looks calm, he looks resolute. He was given a big shout out to his family back in Sinaloa. The importance of his, his mum and dad to get him started in the sport, the coaching encouragement, that whole journey. And it's something that he, he was saying that, and this is something you can relate to after your gold in Tokyo, his dream is to have his parents in Paris. That's amazing. I think he'll have his opportunity in mine. <laughs> I wanted that in Tokyo, just to be my sister and my husband there, but, but Spectators Arena was empty at that moment. It, it was not easy to be there, but in picking Paris, it will be really great to watch all these athletes, especially with the family. And you'll get to watch it as well because Para Taekwondo will be on the television, live, direct, and in your homes. But who's going to take home gold in this one? Juan Diego Garcia, six to the good. Imamadiev, Kalilov, circling, trying to change the momentum. Last 30. Juan Garcia looks so relaxed in this moment. You can see with his steps, with his movement, leg block. Like he has no, <laughs> not a problem just to block him all the time. No fear, but a lovely back kick through from Kalilov. Yes, good back kick, 6 to 3, but only 8 more seconds. The time against him, the gam jump will be against the Mexican. One score on the board for Kalilov. Can he give himself a chance? But Juan Diego Garcia has been in the lead all the way. The last five seconds. A now three-point game. The man from Mexico stands in the center, flicks up to the face. This was by accident, I think. He pushed to the body and then his leg went up. So. Now, if you're Imamadiev Kalilov and you know that the opponent has kicked you in the face, he seems to be okay. The doctor checking on him, making sure that the gum shield's not in place. Gam jump, good refereeing from Huang Lee. And the doctor, very experienced, just making sure that he's okay. And as you rightly said, a minor flick to the face. Yeah, I think that's not so, so, that is not so hard, but I, I'm not in the ring. <laughs> he's feeling it, not me, but we have three more seconds and this is opportunity for him to score now. Tries to do it, but walks in and waiting there, Juan Diego Garcia, Paralympic champion, Pan Am champion, world champion. And the man from Sinaloa rules the roost here in Manchester. Fantastic performance.
and a silver medal. Imadiev, Kalilov from Azerbaijan, the big man from Baku.